Hey guys, Ranch here bringing you all another Let's Play. We're going to continue on with Super Robot Tyson Original Generations for the PlayStation 2. And I'm currently in the menu screen. Screen. I thought I'd do a putty tat. I did, I did. Uh, checking out equipment. Woohoo! So this is where we check out equipment where we get, like, items and such. This is the Chabram armor. This is Screw Module right here. Screw Module basically gives any unit S status in water, which is useful because the level we're about to enter next is a water level. Um, not necessarily for the Altizen though, because he has pretty decent water status and can survive decently without that help. And Vice Surgeon can fly, so it doesn't matter. Chabram armor, as you can see, increases armor as well as overall health is all something that's not really necessary for the alt eisen at the very moment don't really have anybody else I want to give it to either I'll survive somehow now the other two levels that you might know about is that is uh, mobility and uh, yeah stuff like that which is basically dodginess. So it's HP, that is HP, energy, mobility, which is basically how well you dodge, armor, and uh, how many steps you take. The bottom one is whatever. Anyway, yeah, chopper armor. And we got some items. We got repair kits to, to uh, take care of our HP problems. And then uh, the last thing we got was a what was it 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 oh god what was it I do not remember Crapasaurus Rex honestly a cartridge yes a cartridge I remember that now that's something we want to give the Altizen definitely give him a cartridge because he can run out of ammo now you can give one of your dispensed units the screw module. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to um, our good old friend Bullet for now. Um, you see right here, you can see how many items you can equip on each unit. Dispense, despite being crap, can actually equip a lot of items. So that's like one of one of half things that it can do right. Not gonna equip anything to Zanger. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to equip? I mean, Chopper Marmor, just... I don't have anybody to equip it on right now. I, mean, I could put it on on one of the expense to have them survive, but just, it's just not necessary. Make sure that somebody doesn't die, maybe? One of the expense. Yeah, I think I'm going to be putting both in the thick of things, so just in case, I'm going to give him an item. But other than that, just not much else. Let's see, the character upgrade screen! Start off, you get PP, you can be, use 10 PP to upgrade any of tech stats. Now, let's see if I can actually go and uh, tell you guys what the hell it is. Come on, come on, come on you ass. Yeah, the translation's all on my side and I basically have to find them all. I do apologize. Not the way I wanted it to be. God, well, basically, yeah. It's all the stats right here. Come here. There we go. Anyway, start off things. You got melee, range, defense, maneuvering, evade, and hit. Now, some of the maneuver. Now, some of these might be different than for for instance, maneuvering for the robot. It's something else than here. So basically, melee and rage are pretty simple defense. Pretty simple how he can take help his unit take a hit. Maneuvering in this case is about the critical. This is basically his critical chance. It affects hit, how well, how often he gets a critical hit, and how often he uh, avoids a critical hit. Then we got evasion, and we got hit. Now, really, I don't upgrade much in the way of stats. Generally, I want to use my PP for other measures.
Yeah, you can get between characters here and... Yeah, anyway. Yeah, go up upgrades. Here's where you can give him some skills. Lots of skills here to give him. But I'm gonna be saving PP because there is a very particular skill you can give your opponents, which I, if I remember correctly, called Attacker. It's thoroughly expensive. I think this is this one right here, the 100 one. I'm not altogether sure. One of these. One of these. But uh, this one, yeah, this one, for instance, right here, I know for a fact, 170. Basically, uh, the morale cap in the game is 150. That raises it to 170. But yeah, one of them is called Attacker. And that means that when you reach 130 morale, your attack power gets raised by 20%. All your attacks get raised by 20%, which is the shit. So we're just going to work towards that. And the third is that you can spend a certain amount, depending on levels, to upgrade your terrain benefits. So basically you can make yourself, in this case, if I would say upgrade this to S, I would make him S-class on... Um, on ground terrain. But this is completely unnecessary because Alt Eisen gets a very specific bonus. When you upgrade all of his weapons to max, all of his main weapons to max, he gets S in all of, uh, all of his weapons get S in terrain. So it's like it's it's the shit, basically. How, but yeah, it's not quite the same what the robot has, what the pilot has. But it kind of, that's the way it works. Just explanations all around. Sorry if this is boring, you guys. But let's see. Here's where we upgrade the mech. This is where, by paying money, you don't pay PP here. You pay money to upgrade HP. I know, I know. You could upgrade him to maximum HP right now if I wanted to. Uh, energy... Which Altas doesn't really need much, except for just moving around. None of his weapons actually use up energy. Uh, our, uh, dodging, which it's not really necessary for Altizen, but it's a help, you know. I mean, it's probably something I will end up upgrading eventually. I don't quite remember whether it's whether you upgrade all of this that you get, Max, or whether you upgrade all the weapons. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, doesn't really matter at the moment, I mean. But, and this is the armor. This is the stuff that's going to be important for him, especially. Just upgrade the armor, get him up, make sure that Altizen always stays alive. You take a hit, and at the bottom you basically see how much of him you have, um, you know, completed. Yeah. And yeah, uh, every time you upgrade a unit fully, yeah, that's checking check in my thing on the side that helps me with the translation stuff. My little elves. Um, Basically, you can choose between diff different types of bonuses that you get for upgrading this fully. So there's an incentive, and you get a special bonus for each character. That each character is, you know, special, a unique unit bonus. I'm not sure if you actually uh, whether the unique unique bonus is like something you have to choose, or whether you get that anyway. But options are more HP, more EN, more e mobility, more armor, or more movement range, which are all effective. Oh, uh, let's see, go back. Wow, so much crap. Um, here, you upgrade weaponry. In this game, you upgrade each weapon by itself. This is all, of course, very, very, very effective. And, let's see, what's this? Ah, yeah, this is just adding weapons. And this is switching pilots. You could also switch pilots. In theory, I think I could, for instance, let Excellent pilot the Altizen. Not quite sure, but uh, let's just not try that. I am, however, going to start off by, uh, let's see, giving Altizen a bit of an armor upgrade. Not really necessary, but... And a bit of a mobility upgrade. Or rather, health. Yeah, a bit of a mobility upgrade. To ten, or, I don't know. No, you know what? I'm not. Uh, the armor upgrade is enough. Doesn't really need much in the way of dodging. It needs much more in the way of taking a hit. And I'm also gonna basically. This is the weapons he's gonna be using all the time. The claymore he can't use while moving, unless you use assault. He has that skill now, which basically allows him to use these attacks after moving. These are attacks I'm gonna be using the most. Um, Enemies in water, that's gonna be 
these. I am going to go ahead and upgrade this fist of his. It's very expensive to upgrade weaponry, so you might want to be, you know, take it easy on that. But you can upgrade it pretty heavily, as you can see. It's going to take just a crap ton of cash. Claymore. Let's seize it all 5,000? No, I didn't think so. Don't really need to upgrade his weakest weapon at the moment. We could upgrade, we could just upgrade his gun. It's fairly cheap. Upgrade it to 3,000. Make it much more effective. I think we're going to do that. Go ahead. 